often, especially in church. Let us stand on our feet. Can we stand on anything other than our feet? <laughs> yeah? Can we stand on our heads? Can we stand on our legs? Can we stand on our hands? Just say, let us stand. Okay, to say, to now add that we should stand on our feet is as if we had a choice about how we are going to stand. Right? And another one is, let us rise to our feet. How are we going to rise otherwise anyway? Yeah? Let us rise. Now, a related Ghanaianism is when they say, let us be upstanding. Right? It's a misuse of the word upstanding. An upstanding person is not somebody who is standing up. Okay? He may be standing up or she may be standing up. An upstanding person. An upstanding person is somebody who has a good moral character. When they say she is an upstanding woman, it means she has a good moral character. It doesn't mean she is standing up. She can be upstanding and be sitting down. Alright? So don't say let us be upstanding when all you need to say let us stand up. Try and use the words that are simple. Don't make life complicated. Let us be upstanding. Okay? So next time you go to church, let's say, let's say, Pastor, please, don't say let us be upstanding. Okay?